Hello everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Chris Wood here, August 17th, 2022. I'm just sitting here, and I am totally numb once again. Another day of being broadcasted through, I am being broadcasted through heavily by William Aldrich today, and somebody else I do not know. Who the fuck it is that somebody knew. But at the same time, I'm being even more numbed down. I'm having shit coming up through my body. Through the back of my neck on both sides. It's through the cords, actually. It's coming through the cords in my fucking neck and in my body. And right up through here. And it's coming all the way around. There has been more changes to my head, to my face. There's obviously been more fucking changes to my brain. Whatever it is going through me yesterday, I was sitting and I could smell like peanut butter was actually being spread over top of me. And I have not been around any peanut butter today. I can smell cow shit so you bunch of sick cocksuckers are having a lot of fun you're using remote narrow monitoring on me you're all fucking high you think this is a game you're putting shit into my body while you're fucking high you're putting drugs into my body you're putting garbage into my body and you're completely and totally fucking destroying me why for OPP revenge for Spencer Mills, for Staff Sergeant, for Ex-Chief, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas, Shannon Cork, Stacy, a mental health worker, and Shelly Hafner. And then you got your crime cover-up doctors that you use at Lennox and Addington County General Hospital to assure your crimes and that you get out of them. Dr. Tatiana V, Stacy's girlfriend, a.k.a. Margie V, the one that originally falsifies files for you to get your victims medically blacklisted and not taken serious about crimes that you are guilty of doing. Dr. Waldron, Dr. Martin, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. Joy Hadley, Dr. Ambimbola, Dr. McGregor, Dr. Sue, Dr. Fardell, a triage nurse Terry, a triage nurse Tanya, a woman with blonde hair, and a triage nurse David, and Paladin Security. All involved with human trafficking, all involved with medical treatment refusals, medical blacklisting, being falsely charged because I wanted, I wanted doctors charged for crimes that they were committing against me, so in as, as a return, as a result, they had me charged to deflect the crimes against me and to give me a record and in doing so it enabled them to get my picture my prints my signature and everything else they needed for this identity theft against me for framing plus they have my blood and my piss from when Shelley Hafner or Hofner had me kidnapped May 27 2021 24 hours after asking for help against the police and doctors and everyone else involved in these crimes against me. I had been brain split. I had been skull split. I had been seriously bodily mutilated. I have lied. I've had lies cast against me stating that I am suicidal. Not true in any way, shape, or form. I'm about life and I've been trying to save myself while they're, while they're believing this bullshit. I've had lies cast against me stating that I am a self-harmer. 
not true in any way, shape, or form. If that was the case, why would I be trying to save my life? I'm not looking for fucking attention, especially from scumbag doctors who are involved in human trafficking. I don't need that kind of attention. Back in August of 2019, I had something shot into my right ear from the ex-chief. And ever since then, I've been screwed. It's the medical blacklisting, the lies, the time buying, the cover-ups, the arrest refusals, and everything else. OPP is also guilty of having my mother stopped by Blair Hardy and by Boss Way and Billy Woldridge of 149 Center Street North, and they were using remote neural monitoring on her. And because of her age and the radiation and EMS, it caused cancer, caused tumors causing her illness and death. It was done with intent. Just like everything against me is premeditated, conspired with intent to commit. I am an identity theft victim. I am a human trafficking victim. And I am an attempted murder victim. And the ones guilty of human trafficking, the ones guilty of murdered and missing, is Lennox and Addington OPP and the doctors they have here to cover their crimes up, along with the Justice of the Peace who makes accusations against OPP victims to obstruct and to prevent arrests, anything legal on them. I have been going through this for three years and I have not been able to get any help my legal rights have been taken, my human rights have been taken, and my medical rights have been taken. OPP is guilty of domestic terrorism. They are guilty of treason. They are guilty of attempted murder. They are guilty of kidnapping and sex assaults. And they are getting away with it. All through their badge. And because they can, there is no lawyers around here that will touch them because they're friends or they're either scared of them knowing what will happen to either them or their families if they try to go against the police around Napanee against the OPP for crimes. No matter how much proof you have, it will do no good. I am having this being done to me through remote neuromonitoring. monitoring. It has nothing to do with drugs. It has nothing to do with, I'm certainly not schizo schizophrenic I hear no voices I have no imaginary friends or hallucinations I have no multiple personalities I have no delusions thinking I'm somebody I'm not I am one person but I have many living through me and it's being done through remote neuro monitoring through tech that not a lot of people know about or will research take the time to even research about it and it is tech that is being used by military and the police since the 60s. And what it does, it enables them to basically fuck a person's nervous system on them and a whole lot more. It's done from an implant. People start hearing that word implant and they go, oh no, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're crazy. Well, no, 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 it can all be 100% proven. So no craziness here. Except for what has taken place with me. That's craziness. I'm 50 years old and I'm beginning to look like a fucking Tyler Lake and a bunch of other junkies who are using this against me and broadcasting through me and injuring me for OPP purposes while they're getting meth paid and money paid for doing it and non-arrest. So... I have 50 different junkies broadcasting through me on a daily basis. They're all passing it around, using to fucking live through me, using to suck my food out of me, even using it to sleep with me. I am being trafficked out this way by these bastards, and they're sitting back, and they're making a lot of fucking money. Outside police need to come in and arrest OPP. They need to arrest doctors here, and they need to arrest... Their boss, William Woldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Javen Holstein, Ray Ray, Sam, Hope Mills, 
Michelle, a homeless woman, Allie Cooper, Bucktooth Bob, and the rest that are involved through OPP. So, this is how they traffic, this is how they frame, and this is how they successfully murder here in Napanee. You are guilty of ending a bloodline through this, you pieces of shit garbage. This is all revenge retaliation against me for speaking police crimes, and I will not be proven wrong. So. This is how I did once look at one point in time. I go through fort deforming on a daily basis and I'm being constantly numbed down by all these fucking junkies using it on me and injuring me and deforming me all at the same time. So congratulations, OPP. I'm just another one under your belt that you're getting away with along with my mother. You're ending a bloodline, you fucking pieces of shit garbage. Arrest people that need to be done, including yourselves, you fucking terrorist, domestic treason, domestic terrorism and a whole lot more Lennox and Addington, Ontario Provincial Police, the doctors they have and their inmates they harbor.